Hi, this is Marty Carter with Sumner One Service. Today we're going to talk about printing using the print driver for the Kia Sera Task Alpha series. Most things you can do at the copier, two siding, color, stapling, etc., you can do from the properties of a print driver. File, print. Here, I'm going to choose the Kia Sera printer and then I'm going to click on printer properties. I don't like to make my changes here. I like to make them from within the printer properties. Once this opens, you should see a window that looks like this. This is the printer specific driver. If it only has a few tabs at the top and it looks completely different, you're not using the printer specific driver. Now, once in this driver, I'm going to start with the basic tab. The quick print tab is optional. You may or may not have this. I'm going to start with basic things of importance here. Source what source to pull from. You can choose the multi-purpose tray or the bypass tray. You can choose any of the other trays of the machine. Media type, set to unspecified, meaning it will pull from any source regardless of paper types in the trays. So if you do have a tray set to a special type of paper, it's best to change the default here to plain so it only rolls to the paper sources that have plain paper. Other things of importance, collating, you can turn this on or off. You can set duplexing here. Right now, duplexing is on. You can turn that off. Color, you can choose auto color, preferred when printing in color. Full color or black and white. I like the default to be black and white. The next tab, layout. You can do multiple pages per sheet two sheets reduced in one, four sheets or more, etc. Or a booklet mode, churches and schools like this booklet mode down here. You can start with an eight page document and get out two pages, four sheets, two on the front, two in the back, paginated so that it's in a booklet form. When you choose booklet, these Kyocera machines give you a booklet settings option. Oftentimes when printing a booklet, people will create the booklet from within the, from within the application, such as from within Publisher. If you've done that, you'll want to choose Create from Application Settings. It's already in a booklet form. This would cause creation of a booklet from a booklet, and you'd get strange output, two sheets reduced sideways on the bottom of a page. But if you're starting with regular 8.5 by 11 sheets, You'll want to use create from the driver settings. You'll also see options to staple and fold or fold only. We'll go ahead and turn that off as we move on to the next tab. Finishing. Here, job separation or separate the sets so it will crisscross. This is crisscross or offset the output. This depends on the finisher that you have. Here you'll find your other options useful such as stapling. My machine has hole punching, and you could also do folding if you have the different folding options. My machine is configured with all of the options. Some of them may be grayed out if you do not have those options on your copier. The imaging tab, here again we see color, and we can control our color selection here. Publishing, here we can use covers, front and back covers. We can use page insertions to insert sheets within the body of a document we're creating. Job tab, what you'll find here are job storage options, such as the ability to print to a custom box. You can do private printing. That way, if you print a job, you'll have to enter a code and then enter the code again at the copier to retrieve that job. And then under the advanced tab, We'll also have other options such as watermark, where we can put a watermark stamp on a body of a document. With watermark, it comes standard with different options such as copy. You can use some of the other presets, sample, confidential, but you can also create your own with new. So I can have it stamped whatever I want on here. Other tools such as the color of the stamp, um, the angle, the scaling, how big it will be on the page, etc. I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. At this point, after you make your changes, you can press OK and then print your document. I often am asked, 
how can I make these changes and make them stick? I don't want to have to go into the printer properties to make changes each time. I want my machine to always print in color. I'll always print double siding. What you do for that, I'm going to go ahead and just minimize Word. I'm going to choose the Windows Start button. I'm going to type in Control Panel. I'm going to choose Control Panel and then from here choose View Devices and Printers. Here I'll identify my Kyocera printer. I'll right click on it. I'll choose Printing Preferences. It's going to bring up the same window. Looks the same. It's the printing preferences of the print driver. But whatever changes I make here stick. So if I say black and white, if I say two siding off, and then press OK, that's forever my default for printing. Thank you.